Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be honest with you, I did not expect to be sitting here today ready to talk about a brand new promo coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, but that's what we are doing. Foot Captains has officially been leaked, and it is going to be the promo that we see this Friday. This Friday, we're going to have a brand new promo. Yes, you're hearing this correctly. The, the promo, Foot Captains, that we have been hearing leaks about for like two months, back to like Future Stars time frame almost, when people were talking about Foot Captains and upgraded versions of Heroes. Well, we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. This Friday is going to be the Foot Captains promo. I want to take a look at the leaks that we have for this upcoming promo, how it's going to work out, because there's going to be a team of players in packs as well and why the market is dropping a lot. Again, it's just really weird timing, right? Yesterday, we were starting to think about team of the season. Maybe it's coming next. Yes, it would be early, but you know, it just would seem like that's the next promo that's in line, right? I was even starting to hope for team of the season just a little bit, but EA Sports obviously has other plans, and this is their game. They can do whatever they want. So what they're doing this Friday is they're dropping a brand new promo. So we're going to talk about all of that, why it caused a lot of panic selling on the market, and all the crazy content and stuff that happened yesterday on this game. Of course, the Ryan Kent and Medieros showdown um, SBC yesterday. Everybody's got English links in their team doing this Ryan Kent card, a FIFA rat of old. And of course, prime icon moments and icons with the push gus and the michael owen sbcs being dropped yesterday and an, an upgrade pack the 85 plus triple upgrade uh which is repeatable two times and you're going to be able to do it again tomorrow when it re-ups for a second time so ea is dropping gamble packs they're dropping icon sbcs again the prime icon player pick was was doable again fodder is up but we might have some interesting sell times for fodder we have a lot to talk about in today's video because of this new and crazy information that's literally changing everything, right? Everybody says it's changing everything, but it is. This is changing our mindset right now on FIBA 22. So if you are excited for Foot Captain, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look. We only have a couple of leaked players right now. I know it's Tuesday, so it's very, very early. We're in the middle of showdown series, but there's a lot to talk about and a lot to think about with this promo. We have two main players leaked by Mr. Foot Sheriff himself. Yoris is the first one. And this kind of started all the conversation. And these tweets that he posted yesterday really started the market dropping. It started a lot of the panic selling on meta cards yesterday. If you take a look at the timestamps, this was uh, posted at 8.35 uh, like a.m. my time, which is in like the midday UK. And if you take a look at prices on the market, that's when stuff really started dropping. But Yoris is the first leaked card, official stats. If this is the actual car design, I don't know if it is or not, but if that's the car design for this promo, that is unbelievable, right? If that looks incredible, GG's if that is it. If that's a concept, then, you know, graphics designers like Criminal, Mr. Um, Criminal here who makes all these graphics for Foot Sheriff, he needs to work at EA because that's incredible. Anyways, um, what this promo is going to be about is... Um, it's going to include a promo team of players that are basically captains for their clubs. Like, of course, Yaris from My Spurs is wearing the captain's armband week in and week out. And those are some of the other players. We have two players officially leaked right now with a couple other rumors uh, out there. Um, but that's what this promo is going to be about. Players that are captains for their clubs should be receiving promo cards. So there's going to be a promo team, which he says here, featuring Yaris. But there's also going to be... New and upgraded hero cards. That's what this little like Superman hero emoji is what he's posting here. And, and that does not mean like brand new hero items. What that means is for cards like Ginola or what maybe Ginola is not the best example, like Di Natale, right? It was leaked that Ginola might not be getting a brand new hero card. We don't know yet. We'll probably hear more leaks around that later on this week. It means that these same heroes that we have are getting new and upgraded versions. Maybe position changes, stat changes, of course. Um, and then there were some rumors a, uh, a while back of like even the league was going to be changing for a few of these um, hero cards back to a specific moment in their career. Kind of like icon moments for icons, but for heroes. Same card, like same same player, different stats and some other changes on the card like that. It's not like brand new heroes are coming out. If just to word that in a way so that it's understandable. But just kind of how like we saw the Prime Icon Moments released on like a Saturday as a part of um, 
foot birthday or whatever promo was that we when we had the icon moments released i think that's might that maybe might be that maybe might be how they put out the hero cards like the hero moments items so that's something to look forward to with foot captains now also he says foot captains team one is coming this friday and you know what that team one means that means that if there's a team one there's also a team two and that means this could be a two week promo which pushes back our team of the season hope and team of the season everything two weeks later we're gonna have to wait two weeks longer for this to potentially happen now maybe they dropped the tots vote like during the second week of foot captains who knows but that's kind of what we know about the foot captains promo at the moment we're going to have a promo team in packs of captains for their clubs we're going to have foot heroes upgraded items new versions in packs on the game and um we are going to have a big boy i don't know where this leak is at oh here it is this is the big leak. Now, this, they're probably going to start trickling out throughout this week. I would expect to see more leaks for foot captains today on Tuesday, Wednesday, into this week a little bit more. But Ben Yedder is going to be a promo card in foot captains. And these are the official stats. 93 pace, 95 shooting, 95 dribble, 79 physical, 87 passing. This seems like it would just be a standalone promo. No upgrades, just kind of like a, you know, a, a promo where EA can put cards in packs, make some money before a team of the season. That's honestly what this seems like, but it's a new promo. So maybe there's going to be something new intertwined with it. Again, this is just like the first day of hearing about information for this upcoming foot captains promo. So that's kind of all that we know right now at the moment. But with all of that news, let's talk market because there was a lot of stuff that happened, even starting with some of the hero cards. Ginola, who's back up to 310,000 coins. I mean, this guy was when the leaks started coming out. And this is, again, why I say that the market really started dropping yesterday when the leaks came out. This Ginola was like 320,000 coins, right? He was, he was even 330, 340 late sunday night into monday morning started dropping a little bit he was still 330s and then boom dropped down to 292 um when the content came out yesterday but take a look at the rest of the market right i was trading with a wayne rooney yesterday if you guys saw in the video i got one on bid really low at 1.1 million coins i sold it for 1.29 but this wayne rooney was still around 1.3 mil the leaks started getting put out around the time frame that we talked about right in that midday uk time and these, these prices started to drop and rooney went all the way down to 1.21 and i mean if you just take a look at the rest of the market a lot of your higher tier meta cards are down this firmino was like one point he's 1.02 and he was he's down over 100k he was 1.15 leaks started coming out bam continues to drop and then the content that we had yesterday was legit good content with a lot to do especially with a uh, gamble pack that was out the kent sbc that like everybody was going and doing so there's a lot of people selling cards yesterday to go and get involved with the content that we had so you saw kind of like two drops on the market you saw people selling from the leaks and you also saw people selling because of the content that we had yesterday on the game right it's there's just a lot going on yesterday that really caused the market to drop i really don't think you can look at the market yesterday and pinpoint and say oh my goodness nate the reason these cards went down in price is because you were talking about selling cards for team of the season no honestly the fact that the leaks came out it's kind of sucks right because it made me unable to sell some of the cards and investments that i had for a premium profit where i had to take you know 10 or 20k less for cards that i really wanted to sell um, because they were starting to drop in price, right? Some of these Tiagos I got at 550, some of these Martinelli's I had to get out. You know, of course, with Arsenal losing yesterday and Martinelli not having a goal or assist, you know, contribution. I was I was selling these at 640, 650, and I ended up having to sell my last couple in the lower 600s and that one at 580 uh, and, and some of these other cards. And I'm losing coins with you guys. Honestly, I bought three Van Persies. Right now, I got them listed up for lazies and one just trying to get it out at the moment, you know, because I'm, I'm losing some coins too on cards like that that I was trying to trade with and trying to flip. And since this market is dropping, if you're owning cards, a lot of cards went down, right? And that's that's just how it was yesterday. And, and that's how, you know, the market reacted to those leaks. I really don't think that you can pinpoint the panic selling yesterday as to people selling for team of the season. Um, I, I don't think that's accurate because as if you look at the graphs and if you watched prices yesterday, it really started after that foot captain's leak started to circle around. People got scared. People started panic selling, undercutting. 
and that you, you know what goes on from there. And then it got even worse after the content drop. So that's why a lot of prices were dropping yesterday. Now, again, since we are a couple weeks out now from team of the season, as this promo would kind of suggest, if you want to pick some cards back up for your team, maybe this weekend and play weekend league again and buy some of those players back, feel free, right? I'm not saying that yesterday we were talking about selling for team of the season because it's going to be three weeks away still. You know, we were thinking that team of the season might be sooner than that. Now, albeit a lot of your prices are down as we looked at in yesterday's video as well. You know, I was just showing you guys Paqueta, right? This is one of my favorite examples recently. Paqueta is still down. I mean, he was 840K before Saturday. Saturday was really a bit of a tipping point when that Prime Icon player pick was released again. That kind of chipped the market down a little bit from the stagnant high that it was at before. And now your cards are just down kind of another level from that because of that SBC and the other SBC content that's been draining coins off of this game. So I really don't think you can look at yesterday and talking about team of the season that really impacting the market that much. It was more of the leaks and stuff like that. So Again, that's kind of where the market is right now in terms of a lot of those items. Some stuff bounced back yesterday, um, like we were looking at that Paqueta, right? Paqueta's back up to almost 770. He was down at like 730 at his absolute lowest. You know, I saw some cards like Fakir or, or Nani, Foot Fantasy was down to 430. He's back up to 460. So there was some tradable fluctuations yesterday, but a lot of those cards overall are still down from where they were because yesterday, content-wise, drained a lot of coins. And again, that's what people are doing right now is SBCs and that drains coins off of the game. Let's talk about yesterday's content for a second. The 85 plus triple upgrade times three. There's no special cards and packs right now, but EA always gets people to do these SBCs. People love gamble packs. You know, even though it is an 84 rated squad with a team of the week, I think it's somewhere around like 50,000 coins or, or 55, 60 K or something like that. To get this done, it's 53,000 coins to get that SBC done. Why are you doing this, right? You're doing it so you can save it up and open it during the foot captain's promo during team of the season. So this SBC does have some use, um, but without any leaks or anything like that, it's kind of like, okay, EA Sports, there's nothing in packs right now. So it's just going to be one that you still do. And a lot of people do these SBCs right away. That's why you saw 84s explode up in price yesterday, or at least part of the reason why. But that was released yesterday. Again, the icon player pick was repeatable again. And we also had the Kent and Medieros SBC, which Medieros and Kent are both really solid value. But this is the type of player SBC, the, the Kent, th that is, that really gets EA to drain a lot of coins on this game. They can release a player like this at any time. And they knew what they were doing with this Kent SBC, right? They absolutely knew what they were doing. They boost up this Ryan Kent card, give him a, a very popular FIFA name for the past couple of years in, in FIFA uh, from being an overpowered card, right? Very popular item, a name that nobody really knew in the FIFA scene, now in FIFA, known as a very meta item, right? They give him a card, they make it 150,000 coins. He's hard to link. All of the strong links to this Ken card are extinct. All versions of um, the Tavernier item, which would be a green link because they're on Rangers, of course. Actually, it's a perfect link because they're both on Rangers and um, they are English. So that's a perfect link between those two guys, which is probably your easiest way to link Kent. That's all extinct at the moment. Your English icons are up in price, uh, which is why I was able to sell my Rooney today for a nice chunk of change. Um, so all of that combined yesterday has got fodder going up and the meta market going down, right? That coin drain is pulling coins off of the market. Now, speaking of fodder, we have to move on and talk about this because fodder is a huge point of discussion this week with all of the content we had. We also had a Pushkas Prime SBC, which I think, you know, the Pushkas Prime is coming in at 1.23 million coins to complete. His card is like 1.3. It's been, it's been around 1.4, honestly. Before the panic selling, he was a 1.4 to 1.5 million coin card. So this is not a terrible value SBC. If you want Pushkas, um, I don't even know how long this is out for. Let me check in game. Uh, Pushkas is out for 29 days. So he's actually not out for near as long as some of the icon moments are, which is pretty interesting to me. But if you want a push guys, I, I believe this means we won't see another version of like a moments push guys as an SBC later on this year, I would imagine. I mean, maybe that's not a rule in thief anymore, but it used to be if they were in an SBC at, at some point and then you wouldn't see any more SBCs of them 
throughout the year. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but this is only out for 29 days. If you do want to get it done, it is a very nice card. And it's just kind of like crafting a player of the month Mbappe type item. You're getting an end game icon for your team. I have nothing against that card. The Michael Owen SBC as well. You know, that's going to be one that is not super duper hard to craft during team of the season. That's out for 90 days. So again, GG's the EA for putting that 90, 90 day time frame or just a long time on one of those elite the, obviously it's an elite, but it is a icon moments, the best version of that card. It's out for a long time. That's what I like about EA releasing those out for, for an extended period of time. But again, fodder, of course, going up yesterday. And I want to find the index for you to show you just how much 84s went up on the index. 84s were down at 201 points around the weekend league rewards time frame. And just look at this, right? With the 85 plus, that's an SBC that people would do right away. The Kent SBC, a lot of people are going out and trying to complete that and crafting it. And with no supply, this stuff just keeps trickling upwards in price. And it seems like it's not going to stop. Same thing. I think if you look at the 85s, it's kind of the same way. You know, maybe a little bit of a slower climb, not as, of course, crazy and as drastic as the 84s. Because again, we know what moves the market most in this game. The Gamble Pack SBCs move the market the most. Now, we had another gamble pack re-release with the prime icon player pick um, yesterday as well. So your 88s are another one to two K higher, right? Your 90 rateds are one to 2000 coins higher. Your 92s are one, you know, they're up a little bit more. And one thing I have to say about fodder is this foot captains promo really changes a lot in terms of how I look at the, the fodder market, because right now, based off of how many people on this in in the comment section on twitter in the live stream comments right this is how i gauge some hype a little bit so many people are invested in sbc fodder at the moment that they have to sell and they're looking to sell in the next couple of days and now everybody's sell time kind of has an end date everybody's going to be looking to sell their fodder by thursday slash friday because they know that when foot um captains comes out that means lightning rounds that means packs are being opened that means supply which we have not had any of this week so with that being in mind you probably need to start thinking about getting out of this fodder decently soon we have seen the rises nothing crazy right it could go a little bit higher today we also might have ucl marquee matchups today because we have champions league games back again right of course the, the first leg of this next round of champions league and europa league and conference league is all happening this week so one thing that we we usually expect on tuesdays of champions league weeks are the uefa marquee matchups sbc so that might bring a little bit of supply to the game today. I don't think that's supply worth panic selling for. Again, I've got some Sergio Ramos that I bought for like 27,000 coins. He's up 10K. My best advice to you at the moment would be list for lazies, list for lazy buyers. And if you don't know what that means, I've also had a lot of questions about that recently. If you don't know what listing for lazies means, like right now, let's take a look at Laporte. How much is Americ Laporte? on the market. He is like 19,000 coins. Listing for lazy buyers would mean I'm listing Laporte for like 22, 23,000 coins, a couple thousands over his lowest buy it now price on the market because you'll have people uh, that are doing SBCs and you'll get a couple sales per hour listing a couple thousand coins over. You have people that just buy the cards, you know, they, they look at the card, then they compare price and they say, okay, Laporte, I see here 20,000 coins. All right, I'm going to buy the cheapest one that I see, but you never know, right? Somebody might just be really lazy and they'll see ones listed up for like 21K right here instead of paying 19,000 coins and they'll buy these. I bet if you watched all of these ones at 21,000, a couple of them would get bought you know, as they're about to expire on the market, you know, in the last one minute of their listing, that's called lazy buying, right? And I think that's, that's a genius way to get a couple extra thousand coins per card on some of your fodder sales. And all I would say is if you have that SBC fodder, even like I do, right? I've got stuff in the club. I got stuff on my transfer list. I would be looking to get out on a lot of this stuff uh, by Friday. Again, the timing is going to be pretty crucial here. Like I bought Hummels for 14,000 coins. How much is Hummels? Please tell me he's 20K because he's good links, right? You know, with UEFA marquee matchups today, that could drop some of these cards a little bit in price. So Hummels is like, what, is he 18K? So I bought him at 14 and he is now like 18 and a half thousand coins, right? 18K, I'm gonna list my Hummels at 20, right? I'm gonna list him at 20 and just say, all right, I'm gonna take the extra 2,000 coins. If he doesn't sell after the few times that I list him, then okay, maybe I'll list him down at 18K to take my profit, but chances are I'm going to be able to sell that for a couple thousands more, a couple thousand coins more. I'm going to list these at, I'm going to go 40, 
I'm going to go 40 on the, the remaining uh, Sergio Ramos cards that I have here. But that's what I would do with your fodder at the moment is list it up for lazies. Don't list all of it at one time. We talked about this yesterday too. List up a little bit at a time. Okay. Like I just listed up like what? Four or five Ramos cards and one Hummels. Like I'm not listing up a hundred at a time. That's not smart. It's not smart to do that. But list them in chunks a couple at a time you know, space them out a little bit. That's going to mean more of your cards are going to reach the 59th minute at, or the your, the end of their 59th minute listing or their one hour listing at different times. And that's going to create more opportunities for lazy buyers for you. So I like doing that. And I wanted to speak about fodder because again, I know a lot of you guys have invested, you know, whether it's team of the weeks, whether it is the gold fodder for the rating, that stuff right now is up in price. We have seen the investment pay off. It has been a W. So just start to think about getting that out. You don't have to panic again. Just start to think about getting it out in the next couple of days uh, before we have more supply on Friday. So that's kind of what's going on with the market at the moment. Let me give you a really quick rundown of what to, again, expect today for Tuesday content because we're still in the middle of showdown series and uh, we're going to get another showdown SBC today. I think we know which one we are going to be getting. There was a leak earlier yesterday uh, for a, a couple cards that we have not seen yet. These are the two right here, Serdar and Haraguchi, um, both pretty good looking items. Now, Haraguchi actually might be kind of cracked. He's got a lean body type. I think he has some pretty good dribbling stats. And with this sort of stat boost, I might be rooting for Union Berlin this weekend, but Serdar also looks pretty good. Uh, earlier on the stream yesterday, we called him the wannabe Hullet. Uh, or not the Hullet, sorry, the wannabe Goretzka. 91 physical, 87 defense. He has some really interesting traits. Like he has finesse shot trait and technical dribbler and flair. And also like um, dives into tackles. Like how often do you see a player have dives into tackles trait? I think it is. And finesse shot. It, kind of interesting. But anyways, that's a Hullet Gang CDM. Um, I think that's going to be coming today. This is the only league showdown that we have. It'll at least come in the next couple of days as I believe this game is coming up later on this week. So that should be our showdown content that we have today on Tuesday. Now, again, like I mentioned as well, um, we should have that UEFA marquee matchups. That's almost a mainstay every single week when we have Champions League games up and coming. So uh, I, we have regular marquee matchups, of course, but I think that we are going to see UEFA marquee matchups today. Uh, there might be, again, a little bit of panic selling because people are going to be worried about, oh my goodness, is my fodder going to go down because of this, because of that? I don't think it's really going to drop your, your fodder prices that much, maybe a little bit. But again, if EA keep releasing showdown SBCs and they keep releasing all this other content, uh, it's going to, the, the fodder is going to rebound its way back up because people are going to continue to do SBCs and craft and stuff like that. So that's kind of what's going on with the game right now. Again, it's, it's what a crazy turn of events, right? What a crazy turn of events. We were yesterday just thinking about, okay, this game is kind of quiet SBC promo this week. You know, maybe we start to think about team of the season. Could it be earlier than normal? And then EA Sports says, nope, back at it with a two-week promo. And uh, yeah, what a crazy time. We're going to talk more about it this week, but that's a ton of information coming your way. Um, and we'll talk more tomorrow if we have any more leaks and, and talk more about the marketing stuff related to Foot Captain. So hit the thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're excited for Foot Captains, also drop a comment down below. What captain do you want to see inside of this promo? Get a promo card. Also, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button if you are new. It's been Nate the Boat Accountant. Have a great Tuesday. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.